Karina and welcome to my channel. If you guys are not following me here, please subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'll be sharing with you six different breakfast ideas and I'm usually a type of person who gets really bored of eating the same thing over and over again. So I try to mix things up every few days. So all the breakfast ideas that I'll be sharing with you today are super easy to make. They're very quick and easy and they're super healthy as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first breakfast idea is super easy to make. All you'll need is some peanut butter, a banana and Rice Krispies. So Rice Krispies are usually just like puffed rice, which are kind of molded into a tiny disc like this. Um, so usually I used to end up eating banana and peanut butter on a sliced toast. So as we all know, banana is full of carbs. Peanut butter also has a lot of fat and obviously the slice of toast would add to all of that. So the best thing to do was to replace that with the Rice Krispie. And this is super healthy. It's only like 35 calories. There's literally nothing in it. And so in order to make this, what you have to do is apply some peanut butter on the Rice Krispie. I love peanut butter so I usually go overboard with this and then I cut up some banana into tiny slices and then I place that on top of the Rice Krispie. Once I'm done with that, I would add a little bit of salt just for flavoring. This was so easy to make. Honestly, if I'm eating it as a breakfast, I would end up eating two of these and I would be good to go. If I'm just eating one, I would cut up maybe an apple or an orange and I usually pair this up with green tea or coffee and anytime I'm hungry throughout the day, I would end up making this as a snack. The second breakfast idea is a perfect way to kickstart your day with a cup of fruits. My favorite fruit right now is blueberries. So I usually end up getting a bag of frozen fruits. Right now I have this bag of blueberries. I got this from Walmart, but usually I end up getting a pack from Costco and they have a berry blend. So they have strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries all in one pack. But I usually end up having this almost every few days now. I add half a cup of berries to the bowl. The best way to have these berries is with some yogurt. I usually add two spoons of this 2% plain yogurt, which I usually buy from the store. To add a little bit of crunch to this bowl, I'm gonna add some cereal. My favorite right now is honey bunches of oats. So I'm just gonna add two spoons of this. To add a little bit of flavoring, I'm gonna add some sweetened shredded coconut and this is gonna taste so good. So I'm gonna mix all of these ingredients up together and this is it. Like literally all you had to do was put four good ingredients together in a bowl and mix it up. And I love having this because it's the right amount of sweetness. It satisfies my sweet tooth. It's super healthy and honestly, it's just a win-win. My third favorite way of having the best breakfast ever is to start my day with a glass of smoothie. And I have been blessed with Aviv smoothies. This is literally a smoothie in a container and they have all the ingredients mentioned at the back and literally I just pick up whatever I'm feeling that day and all I have to do is pop these cubes into a glass and then add some milk to that and within 20 minutes time I have my smoothie good to go. So the best part is that they've already done all the hard work. You don't even have to blend it. You don't have to do anything. Literally just mix it all together and that's it, you have smoothie on the go. And their team was so nice that they even gave me a coupon code for you guys. So if you wanna get $10 off of your next order, use this coupon code and you'll be good to go. And I'll leave this code in the description box as well. So after 15 to 20 minutes, your smoothie is gonna end up looking like this with zero efforts and 100% nutrition. This is the perfect way to kickstart your day. I love all the flavors they have. You guys should check it out as well. So the fourth breakfast idea is oatmeal slash chia pudding. And in order to make that, you will need some oats. So I usually used to use Quaker oats, but this time I tried a different brand from Walmart and that's fine as well. So you can literally use any kind of oats you want and you have to soak it overnight. So I soaked it in 1% milk and some water and it becomes a sticky consistency like this. And you will also need some chia seeds. So I have soaked my chia seeds in 1% milk and a little bit of water. So it becomes a sticky consistency just like this. And in order to make this sweet, 
I'm gonna use some maple syrup and Aunt Jemima's is my childhood favorite. I love this syrup, it's almost over. But yeah, I'm gonna use this right now. And you should also add some fruits to this. So usually I end up adding my frozen berries that I showed you earlier, but right now I have some pineapple with me. So usually I end up buying pineapple in a can and that's the best way to buy personally because it's already cut everything is good to go and i usually can't finish the entire can in one serving so i end up putting it in a jar like this so i'm going to add some of this as well and yeah this is it let's start making this don't like oatmeal but I personally love it I really think if you add all the right ingredients to it it can taste so good so this is literally everything you want to eat but it's just in a glass so yeah I'm just gonna mix this up and honestly this is the perfect way to start your day so the fifth breakfast idea is an avocado toast I love avocado toast and there are two ways of making this so some people usually just slice up the avocado and slice up the tomatoes and stack that on a toast and I personally like to make it in a way that you mash everything together and then apply that spread on the toast. So in order to make this, you will need one avocado, some sliced tomato, onion, and lime. And you will also need salt and chili flakes for seasoning. You will start off by slicing the avocado in half and removing the seed. Then put that in a bowl and mash it up with a fork. Now add onions and tomato to the mixture and mix it up. Add some salt, chili flakes and a lot of lime to this. The key ingredient to an avocado toast is adding a lot of lime. So I'm going to add half a lime to this mixture. So your avocado mixture is ready to go and now you can add this on a toasted bread. So I have already toasted a bread and I'm not going to add any butter to it. And I'm just going to apply this mixture that we just made on top of it. And that's about it. Literally, I'm just going to spread this on this uh, toast and I'm good to go. As for the bread, I'm using a flaxseed bread, which is also super healthy. And every time I eat this, I'm literally full for at least three to four hours. So just one slice of this and you're going to be full at least for the first half of the day. So the final breakfast idea is waffles or pancakes. If I feel like I want to spend a lot of time making my breakfast, I end up making a pancake. I have this pancake mix. So basically I make the batter and I make the pancake from scratch and then I add some fruits to it and top it off with some maple syrup. Once again, I'm going to use Aunt Jemima's maple syrup all the way. And at times, if I'm not really in the mood to do any of that, I just use a frozen waffle by Eggo. And this is the best waffle in the world, trust me. I end up eating this at least twice a week. So all I have to do is put the waffle in a toaster. And once it is nicely toasted, I apply some butter on top of that. And after that, I add some Smucker's strawberry jam. And then I top it off with some maple syrup. So the waffle that I've used is by Eggo and it's in the blueberry flavor. They have a lot of different flavors and honestly speaking, if you've never had an Eggo waffle, you have to try it. It is so good. Obviously, this is not the healthiest option. From all the things that I just showed you today, this is the least healthiest option, but it's just so good. And I'm also guilty of having this at least twice a week and yeah, can't help it. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And let me know which one of these six breakfast ideas was your favorite in the comment section below. Also, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. It's right there. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Until next time, bye.